Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about some of the top species that I recommend to beginners in the hobby and why I recommend them. Some may not be as traditional as others, but then again when you ask people what the, their recommendation is on what you should get as your first tarantula, everybody is going to have a different answer to that question due to the fact that there are so many different species and each tarantula is different in their own way. So you could have two Brachypelma smithies side by side and one could be the sweetest and one could be a spawn of Satan. So um, I'll be going through a couple of my top picks for beginners and why I choose them as beginner species and we'll go from there. All right, number one on my list has got to be the Brachypelma smithy. Um, they are known to be hair flickers but they are absolutely beautiful, very docile. They would rather flick hairs than go into threat posture and bite. Um, mine is a little bit of an exception to the rule. She is pretty crazy, but overall, um, she was one of my first starter tarantulas, and I think she's absolutely beautiful. And she was handleable at one point, but not so much anymore. So I do keep her in her enclosure. I don't really get her out, but she is absolutely stunning, as you can see. The next beginner species that I would recommend would be the Aphonopelma calcodes. They would probably be one of the most docile and handleable tarantulas. They're not very fast. Um, she does walk. She doesn't really jolt very often. Very slow, large creatures. Um, they do come from Arizona. Absolutely stunning Arizona blonde. She is definitely one of my top picks for a beginner. Next up on my list for beginner tarantulas would be the Brachypelma albopelosum. I think that they are pretty docile. They don't really throw up in threat postures very often. Um, I, she has been known to flick a few hairs here and there, but for the most part, very docile, very friendly. And she's also a great eater, but doesn't really go after the tongs, more so just the cricket after it's been in her enclosure for a couple of minutes. Um, so again, I would recommend the Brachypelma albopelosum as a beginner species. Next on my species list for beginners, I would recommend the Acanthoscuria geniculata. Um, I do recommend them because yes, they do get big. Yes, they are a bit ferocious, but you never have to worry about these guys not eating. They will constantly be eaten for you. They will do a great takedown every single time. Absolutely stunning with black and white colors and the red hairs on their abdomen, which you can't really see in this young girl because she is still very young, still a juvenile. But they get absolutely gorgeous. They get very large. And, like I said, one of the best beginner species in my opinion. Alright, next on my beginner species list that I would recommend would be the Avicularia Avicularia. Now, I did not get her out. I didn't poke and pry her to come out of her hide because she was hidden in her webbing. Um, so, you can't see her too, too well, but it is the pink toe, the common pink toe. Um, they are pretty fast but very docile. I've never had any issues with her. She has been very docile since the day I got her, um, and I do recommend them to beginners due to the fact that, yeah, they may be a little fast. Um, they are an arboreal species, so you do have to keep them a bit more moist than other species, and they do need sprayed and misted more often. But if you're okay with that, I would recommend them as a beginner species because they are so wonderful. And so there we go, the Avicularia Avicularia. All right, guys. Now, I also wanted to mention that I believe that slings are also very great for beginners. I think that it's awesome that you can watch them grow from being so small to so large. And as your tarantula grows, you'll grow in the hobby as well. And I think that that's a great thing, that you guys get to grow together. Um, I did not start off having slings, but I really wish that I would have had more slings in my collection when I did start off due to the fact that, like I said, you get to grow with a spider and I think that is awesome. As 
the tarantula grows, you learn more about them, you get more accustomed to them, and they're also a bit easier to handle if that's what you were looking for. Um, they're just great altogether. All right, now just because I mentioned a species in my video does not mean that that may be the best beginner species for you. I say go with whatever your heart desires. Just make sure you do your research on that species of spider prior to purchasing. It's amazing to have these spiders as a lifelong companionship. As many of you know, the females can live anywhere from 15 to 30 years and just know that that's what you're getting yourself into, that it isn't a small-term commitment. It is a long-term commitment to have these pets and to have these creatures in your care. And also, again, like I said, do your research. Make sure you know what each species that you're looking at's care requirements are and what you feel would be the best species for you. Also, read into bite reports because even if you don't plan on being bitten, there is always the possibility of being bitten. Keeping them in your care and as your pets could possibly result in a bite no matter how careful you are. It could happen to anyone and I do recommend that you read bite reports. Also know that you could have an allergic reaction to the urticating hairs that they flick and just make sure you know and educate yourself and know what you want prior to getting into it so that way you can come out happy for you and happy for the spider. Alright everybody, thanks for watching this video. I hope that I was able to help you in finding your very first tarantula. And if nothing else, I hope it was a bit entertaining for you. Um, comment down below any of your first tarantula experiences. If you haven't had a tarantula before and you plan on getting one, let me know what species you would like to get. And um, if you have your first tarantula and you're learning alongside your first tarantula, go ahead and put that in the comments below as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.